Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a Shop My Stash. So, um, I'm not going to talk a lot about what's in this thing here because this is my previous Shop My Stash and some of these products have been in here for like two, two or three videos now. So, I'm sure if you're watching them like in a sequence, it's going to be very repetitive. So, I'll just quickly go over what's already in here i'm going to keep things that i use like as daily not that i wear makeup daily but you know what i mean things that i use like every time i put makeup on and then we'll put the new stuff in and i will probably keep in anything that i haven't used at all because the point of doing the shop my stash is to get use of all my different products so yeah let's just begin i guess i'll start from here um so this first thing here is the Viseart petit pro right yeah the first one number one it looks like this i dug my nail into there by accident um i did use this one time I think I feel like I should keep it in here because I still don't have like my full thoughts on this I remember liking it it's just yeah I just haven't gotten enough use out of it so I'm probably gonna keep that here um, this is the NYX lid lingerie it looks like this it's all mattes um, I already know I really like this and I love using like these two middle shades as just like one shadow um, look so I can put this back I mean I know I like it so um, next we have a, a blush from the Colourpop and Sailor Moon collection this one is Cat's Eye packaging <laughs> yes this is the shimmery one I really like this too uh, but I've used it enough so I'm going to put it back in my collection and maybe I'll pull the other one which is the matte, uh, the matte shade we'll see oh this I definitely need to keep in here because I haven't reached for it once the Master Palette by Mario, the ABH collab from back in the day before he had his own brand. It looks like this. Yeah, I should definitely keep this in. I just haven't used it enough and it's getting very old. This is one of the oldest palettes in my collection, so let me just keep that in here. Oh, and I found my sample of the Rare Beauty Concealer. So I'm going to keep that also. Um, then we have this here, which is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. It's very basic. And honestly, all of these shades kind of look the same on the eye. Uh, I don't even know if I should keep this one. Well, I'm not going to keep it in here because I already used it enough. I guess I'll put it back in my collection and if I don't use it for a while I think I might pass this one on. My mom already passed this on to me so I can't give it back to her but I think I have a friend that would like this so we'll see what to do with that. It is really nice that's why I'm not sure if I want to just pass it on yet so we'll see. This is my Patrick Ta, Do We Know Her? And if you guys watch my haul, I don't know if it... Yeah, it's probably going up before this because then this video won't make sense otherwise. No, to self. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you watch that video, you know that I have another one now. I have the She's So LA. So I think I'm going to put this one back because it's more like a spring-summer theme, I feel. Um, it's very coral and bright, so, and I already know I love it, so I'm going to put it back. Um, this is a palette I just used to 
today. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. I think if I hadn't used it in one of my videos, I don't know when, when it's going up, but I probably would have kept this in because I didn't use it at all prior to that. But I think I can put this one away now. And this is a very like fall palette to me. So um, I think it's time to like get some new stuff in. Um, same for this, this is more like spring, summer. Although I do really love it. I keep saying this is one of my favorite highlighters in my collection. This is the Flower Beauty um, Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't need to keep this in here. This I need to keep in here because I never ever reach for it. <laughs> it's a Z palette. I only have four single shadows. Um, like single pans I should say in my whole collection and these are them and I never reach for it so I should keep it in here to remind myself about it um this Milani soft and sultry palette like this one this reminds me of the Natasha Denona glam palette not in the formula obviously but um, in the color story and I feel like I should keep this in because I've only used it like one time I think and even then I think I only use the matte shades so I should definitely get more use out of that this Glam Metals palette did I use this? I don't think so it looks like this I need to keep this in here because I was going to say I'll keep it more for fall, but then I'm never going to use it. <laughs> I've been saying that like since I got it. So let's just keep it in here. Oh, my Sailor Moon palette. Have I even used this since the last time I used it? Looks like that very pretty um, I guess I can put it back because I've used it and I like it yeah see the thing with this box is like if I already used it and I liked it and I'm, I know I'm not thinking about decluttering it or anything then I could just put it back in my collection right I don't know. This I've used quite often, the KVD Alchemist palette. Um, I haven't used it as eyeshadows yet, but I've used it as highlighter and I really like it so far. So I can put that away. This I have yet to use again, the Urban Decay Kristen Yen palette which was limited edition um i should keep that in here because i just need to use this this is another one that's getting kind of old so yeah um these i can put away my makeup forever matte velvet skin powder foundations um because I already know that I really like this and it doesn't need to be in my shop my stash because I only have a few foundations anyway and whenever I feel like I'm not sure which one I want to use I just use that app that I keep talking about the tiny decisions app and I just randomly choose one from my collection. So I can put those away. And the one I'm using is the Y215, but I also have R220. Um, I just don't think I need to, to like switch between both at this point in time. That's R220, it's a bit more like a pink undertone. 
and Y215 is more yellow. I should probably be using the R220 for winter, but whatever. Um, this is um, actually going to go in my skincare bag because um, that way I will use it up a lot quicker. And I do find this is really more meant to be a skincare product. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Um, although I do like it on top of my makeup, I just need to use it up because um, it is starting to like look different in the bottle and I think I said before there's like actual watermelon in here or something like that so it probably doesn't have the longest shelf life ever and I'm also basically out of my pixie glow mist anyway so this will replace that um this I don't know, have I used this? I don't think so, it looks like I haven't. <laughs> um, this is the ColourPop Ladybird Single Shadow. <gasps> it's so nice though. I think I do this every time. I swatch it and then I don't wanna put it anywhere else, but then I never use it. Ugh. Let's keep it in because when I'm using a palette that doesn't have a light enough like inner corner highlight or it's not like glowy enough on my lid, I think I will just use this to go with it. I probably said that last time, but who knows. Um, this can go back because I've used it like almost every time I've done my makeup. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Um, I really like it. So yeah, that can go back. Same with this Koi blush I've used a lot actually. The Kaja um, stamp thing. This one with the heart thing. Um, yeah, I've used that enough and I know I really like it. I mean, I'm wearing it right now actually. Uh, my Fenty Beauty Mini Shady Biz Bronzer Powder one Looks like this I can put that away. I use this so much. I'm surprised you can even still see the um, FB here But yeah That can go back uh, Same with the cream bronzer. I've used this a lot as well. This one is in the shade Butter Biscuit. Um, that can go back to. This will stay because I use it almost every time I do my makeup. It's the Becca um, Under Eye Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. Looks like this. That staying. Same with the Tatcha the Pearl Tinted Eye Treatment, Under Light, and Eye Treatment. I'm trying to use this up, but <laughs> there's so much product in here, I feel. Um, considering you only use like a rice grain size is what she suggests. So this will be in here for a long time, I think. Especially since I keep forgetting to use it. This can go back. I really like this Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul. It's a primer, if you didn't know. Um, I love this. So, but I've used it enough times to know. This can go back to the Fenty Fussy. I already know. My favorite, one of my favorites, if not my favorite lip gloss formula. Um, and I have different colors that I can be using, so I'll put this one away. Ugh, these I keep forgetting about again. And I, now that I know myself more, like what my makeup tendencies are, 
I probably won't buy things like this again. Um, it's like a dual sided like shimmer and sparkle thing. I just never reach for these because I'm afraid to ruin my makeup and make a mess. So <laughs> I shouldn't have bought a five pack of them. But anyway, I have these two here that I'm trying to get use out of before they dry up. So let me keep those in. This will stay to my Urban Decay Primer Potion because I am trying to use it every time I wear eyeshadow. And this, what is this again? I don't even remember. The Laura Mercier uh, Amethyst Caviar Stick Eye Color. It looks like this. This is, these things too, these like eyeshadow sticks. Ugh. I never reach for them. Why? Should I keep this in? No. No, I will not. I will put that back. Away. <laughs> um, this is the Urban Decay Echo Lip Mousse. I really like this, but um, I've used it. I just haven't reached for it recently. But I think it can go back. Um, same with this Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. I wore this on Christmas Eve, I think. I really like it. Um, I wasn't sure at first, but the last time I wore it, I was like, yes, I do like this shade. So I'm definitely keeping that. But I can go back in my collection because I have other lip products to use. Um, this one I haven't used, the Grande, no, what is this called? The Girl Power Liquid Lipstick from the Beauty Crop. I should keep that in. I mean, it's easier to wear, if I'm going to wear a lip product, if it's a liquid lipstick, it's going to wear better under a mask, so I should keep that in. This one I'll put back because it's kind of the opposite. It's like... Um, a liquid pigment kind of thing. It doesn't dry down matte, so I'll put that one back. It's a Smashbox. Um, B Legendary Liquid Pigment in Bad B. I actually have a whole set of these, um, but it's not here at this house. It's at my condo. I should put this, I should bring this one back and take out a different one just to get some rotation. Um, this one, I'm deciding if I'm keeping it or not, but I haven't worn it recently, so I still don't know. <laughs> it's the ColourPop Liquid, what is this called? No, Ultra Satin Lip, the Hello Kitty, from the Hello Kitty collection. I got it in a boxy charm a long time ago, in the shade Lock Diary. Um... Let me keep that in and one more time. If I don't like it, I'm going to pass it on. And I also have a Becca Lipstick Love. Is that what these were? Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love. Yeah, in the shade Sugar. It's a very nude shade. Um... I think I should keep that in here because I'm not sure if I like it. I don't remember. <laughs> um, this I really like. The Physician's Formula Organic Wear Tinted Lip Treatment. Although this is really a lipstick in my opinion. It's very pigmented. So that's why I don't keep it in my purse to use as an actual like lip balm because I actually have to see what I'm doing if I'm applying this. Um, like, look how dark that is. So, yeah. This is the shade Ginger Snap. I wore it the other day and I liked it. So, I can put that back in my collection. Um, I have this little Tower 28 clear gloss. It's called Chill. Um, I mean, this doesn't need to be in here. 
it's a clear gloss. I don't need to question whether I like clear gloss or not. I actually really like that formula anyway. And I did get a new one that I should try. This is the Bite Beauty Multi-Stick in Biscotti. That looks really nice too. Did I use this recently? I don't think so. It looks like that. I'll keep that in here. I should use my Bite Beauty products more often because they're like, you know, not all natural or whatever and they're supposed to not be not last as long as other lipsticks um this is my mac retro retro matte liquid lip color in burnt spice i really like this i wore it some other time i don't remember <laughs> in my last video maybe um i can put that back this is more like a fall product, I feel. I have another Bite product. This is the ooh, Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Cognac. Oh yeah, this is very dark. Yes, it looks like this. Another nice like vampy fall shade, which I'm sure that's why I put it in here and then I never used it. Ooh, I guess I'll put it away. This I'll keep in here. It's the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. Oh, in the shade Cinnamon Bear. Yes, Cinnamon Bear. So this is actually from like two Christmases ago, I want to say, but they did re-release it this year. Um, let me smell this. I don't know if it smells like it's supposed to smell anymore, but <laughs> I'm going to keep it in here because I didn't, did I use this? I think I may have used this, but I can't remember, so I, I should keep it in. This I've used, and every time I use it, I'm not sure if I like it on me. It's the Too Faced Melted Nude. So these were like the first ones they came out with before matte lipstick became super popular. So these ones like they don't dry down super well, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's another one of those issues where it's a nude, but I don't, but it turns like pink on me. I don't know, but it looks like that. It looks really nice in a swatch. Um, but I'll put it back because I've used it enough and if I ever draw it randomly and I find that I'm like, yeah, I don't like it, then I can pass it on. So that was going through what already was in here. So now it's the fun part where we choose new stuff. So here is something I don't think I've ever shown you guys. This is my, like, where I keep my makeup, um, in this house, which is just in a drawer <laughs> and not very organized at all and kind of a mess, but yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do is use the Tiny Decisions app to pick a random item from every category and then I'll go over everything again and see what I'm missing and what I need to put in my shop my stash. So let me get my phone. So like I was telling you guys um, in my last video, this is the app and I have like every category of my makeup here with um, each product in the categories and then I spin a wheel to pick one randomly. So I'll start with palettes or eyeshadow singles. Look, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Because I have so many. And then you just spin the wheel. Smashbox Mini. Oh, I actually got rid of that. <laughs> so I can't choose that one. I passed that on to a friend because it was literally the same color story as the Viseart Petit Pro. 
which I kept, so yeah. I'll have to remove that, but I'll choose another one. Pat McGrath Lab Sublime. Oh, that's good, because I haven't used that yet. It's actually this one here. Um, it's like those little kind of sample palettes that she did. Um, they're, it's the Eye Ecstasy Sublime Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like this. And I bought this to try Pat McGrath shadows. Because I didn't want to splurge on like an actual full $170 palette. So I got this instead when it was on sale. Um, yeah, so these are all shimmer shades, so this won't be like, either it'll be looks that I'm only going to use one shade across the lid, or I'll have to pair it with other things, but that's fine. And even though I didn't use this yet, I ended up buying the Pat McGrath <laughs> Mega whatever palette from the holidays. So now I have that one too, but anyway, it'll still be nice to try this format. So that was the eyeshadow palette and then let's do bronzer. I don't have many bronzers here so oh fun pretty vulgar face palette which I already used and I know that I like it a lot. It's actually in this my new basket here. It's this the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face <laughs> palette. It looks like that. So the reason I put it in the bronzer category is because I can use one, two, three products for bronzer in this. So yeah, that will be fun. And then it's blush. MAC Star Dipped Palette. Oh. I actually used that the other day, and I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Where is that? Oh, it's in another extra bag in here. I felt like I didn't use the right brush for it because it's quite hard pressed. It's this here. I actually brought it from my condo because um, the last time I went there, I was just looking at new products. <laughs> that were new back before I kind of moved here temporarily. And I've just gathered like a bunch of things that I really wanted to use. And this was one of them. So it's fun that I chose it. Um, it was from holiday last year, right? Or the year before, I don't even know anymore. So these are the, these two shades here I can use as blush. I'm actually quite excited to try that some more. Then we have highlight, which like I already have blush and highlight in both those palettes, but Flower Beauty, um, okay, but is that the face palette? Now I'm confused. <laughs> which one is that? I guess that I meant the highlighter that's in the Lift and Sculpt or whatever, but I just said I was putting that away because I used it too much. So let's pick something else. Becca Opal. Okay. I haven't used that in a while. It's just the mini one. This one here. This is what I call like my vacation highlighter because I bring it, um, Whenever I go on vacation, is that going to focus? I don't think so. Looks like that. Please focus. There. It's a little deep for this time of year, maybe, but I think I can make it work. So we'll pull that in and then, oh, concealer. Do I even have that many? I feel like that's a lot. Oh, okay. The Rare Beauty one is actually a sample that I just showed you, so that's fine because I need to use that up anyway. Should I choose another one now? 
No, I, I'll just keep that for now. Because if I choose another one, then I won't use that one because it's a sample and a whole thing. So we'll keep that in. Primer. Professional, the hydrate one. Okay, that's good. I did use that the other day, but it was the first time, so I should try it some more. It's this here. I got it in a boxy charm, and yeah, it's the like the regular. No, it's not the regular. It's the professional, but the hydrate one, which is really better for me anyway, because I. Uh, I have dry skin. Lip product. I'll definitely pick more than one, but let's just see what I get randomly. Too Faced Peppermint Bark Gloss. That is what? Yeah. It's this here. This is from Holiday. Was it last year? I don't know. It's really cute though. It's just a clear gloss with sparkles, so... That'll go with everything, really. And let's smell it. Yeah, and it still smells like peppermint-ish. Looks like this. Setting spray. No, it can't be Glow Recipe. <laughs> I just said I was putting that in my skincare. So let's try something else. Milani. Yes, that is a good one. It's actually just a mini. Um, it's this here. Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. So yeah, that'll be good. I actually don't remember anything about this, so I'm glad I took, I picked that one. It says Hydrate, Illuminate, Set, and 16 Hour Wear. We only have two more categories, so one is eyeliner. Uh, Makeup Forever Earth. What is that? Oh, that's fun. That's actually um, this. This is one of their newer products. Wow, that's not going to focus. Please. Yes. Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow. So it's actually a shadow stick. But I put it in the liner category because... I'd probably use it more as an eyeliner. It's like a metallic brown shade. It looks really nice. That's a swatch that you can't see at all. Hello? Oh my god. Okay, my camera hates this lighting and angle. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think you get the idea. So that would be good to have. And then the last one is foundation. Oh, the Makeup Forever Powder. Well, I just said that I was putting that away because I've used it enough. But you know what? I think I will... I'm going to keep in the R220 shade because um, that will be one that I get more use out of this time of year anyway. So, But I'll choose a liquid shadow also. A liquid foundation, I mean. Rare Beauty. Okay, that's good. Because I haven't used that since I did my Rare Beauty video. So I definitely need to get some more use out of it. It's this one here. Um, what shade do I have? 150C. Just gonna shake it up. Yes, that is a good selection. So now I have a powder foundation and a liquid foundation. That's good. Okay, what I think I'll do now, not to overwhelm myself, I'm just going to pick one more thing from each category, but like that I need, that I know that I haven't used enough. Like, so I won't use the app anymore. That part's done. So let me just think. Okay. Um, first a primer that I need to use. I'm uh, just looking down. I'm behind the camera. Um, 
You know, because I picked the Rare Beauty Foundation, I'm gonna pick the, um, the primer out, so that's not it. I just have the mini size. Um, I actually really like this. And it'd be good to use the two together. So I'll take that eyeshadow palette. Wow. What eyeshadow palette? I have so many new ones too. I'll choose one old one and one new one, I think. You know what? I need to use my Natasha Denona. I need to use this, the bronze palette. I, I haven't used it one time. That's horrible, and it's still in the box. Oh dear, this is what it looks like. Very pretty. Yes, that definitely needs to get used. And then I'll pick one from my new ones that I just hauled. I need to use this. I need to use the Pat McGrath, but I already have Pat McGrath shot palette in there. It's so pretty. But, yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I really want to use this too, this hip dot one, the blue green one. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this because I already have enough like shimmery metallics in the bronze plus the Pat McGrath one so this will be something different and like fun so I'll pick that one and then um, a blush let's pick a blush oh, I should use this this BDL cream creamy stick jelly it's a cream blush stick. This is such a bad angled film video. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, I'll just pick the products and then I'll show you them back at my desk. That's a better idea. But at least now you know where I'm getting them from. I also have, let me show you my desk. Top, well it's not a desk, it's like a bar cart. <laughs> there. So, I also have this thing, this like spinny thing where I have more products and I also have a random bag full of palettes <laughs> so yeah I'll do I'll pick some more things and then I'll show you what I have so I'm back I actually didn't end up choosing one thing from every category because I felt like I had enough already and I do have a lot of face palettes which have highlighters blushes and bronzers in one so I don't need any more so what I did is I just chose one other concealer um, since the rare beauty is just the sample like I said it's just this little sample so I'm probably gonna run out of that so I took my makeup forever mattes matte velvet skin High coverage multi-use concealer. This is quite similar to the this one, the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. But um, I need to try this one out further and see how I like it. I'm pretty sure I do like it a lot. But yeah, so that's my other concealer. So let's put all of this here. Um, and then I chose, the rest is all lip products. So this one is actually just a sample. This is um, this like trio of Dior. It's all the different products though. The Stellar Shine, the Stellar Halo Shine, and the Stellar Gloss. So I have all of these to use. This is actually a really fun sample. It even comes with like a little lip brush. I got this one in store, um, so that's going to be something fun. And then I chose my Bite Beauty, what are these called? Yaysayer Plumping Lip Gloss in Guava Puff, just because I'm so curious about this. It's a limp lip plumper, but it's with cinnamon oil, which I've never tried in a lip 
plumper before although there is cinnamon bark essential oil in my lip balm that I make at Etsy <laughs> I'll leave my my shop link down below but yeah so I'm really curious about that and then I took all of my Tarte Juicy Lips is that what these are? This is like the trio they had for the holidays and I haven't used them at all, but I'm very curious about this. So there's the shade Mary Martini, which is like a pink shade. From what I understand, these are like gloss sticks, so they won't be super pigmented, but you never know. This one is buttered rum it's more like a brown and then this one is a nude i'm pretty sure holiday spritz yeah it's a more nude so all of these colors are very intriguing and then i just couldn't help myself i need to try my fenty cream um what are these actually called gloss bomb cream oh okay yeah in the shade honey waffles I just really need to use that on my lips. So there's that. So that's it. Let me see if I can... Oh, that's better. <laughs> so this is what my thing looks like now. Um, it's... I'll probably organize it a bit better, but I like that it's not full to the brim and I can actually see everything here. So yeah, in future videos, I'll be using all of this stuff and I'll let you know how it goes. My battery's gonna die. So I, I don't know. I hope you like this video. I think it was pretty random. I really do these videos like more for myself just to remind myself what's in my collection. Like touch everything and remember what it's like to have this stuff and if I really like it or if I don't like it. Anyway, so I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!